snow falling from the sky. It's gonna be a good day, Diesel. Right, Chevy? It's gonna be a good day. Fresh blanket of snow always means it's gonna be a good day. Unless if you're on the highway right now, then it's not always such a good day. Just finished our live stream, and it's time to take the boys outside. You guys ready? You ready for this? It's gonna be intense. Hey, we go. Got a little bit of a happy tail going on there. Come on, let's go. Let's go. They always want to go on this side of the car. Oh, so it's a little bit of a. I don't know how to explain it. Chillier, cooler. You sort of just feel it in your bones. It's just a little bit. Hmm. Winter is one day closer. You can just feel it. Doesn't mean it has to be a bad day though. It's gonna be a good day. Look at us, we've got a backyard, we got a fence, we got electricity. You know, you never realize how much you depend on your electricity until you lose it. Last night, or the night before, uh, woke up in the middle of the night and we had no power. I woke up because it was so silent because we usually have the fan going all night and the fan wasn't on because the power was off. It was only off for about two hours, but man, you're like, how long is it gonna take for this house to completely freeze, right? Or food to go bad in the fridge or the freezer. We really, really rely on electricity a lot. <laughs> Probably way too much. Well, we just had a visitor on our doorstep. What did they leave? I think it was Santa's little helpers. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look what we got. Aww. Chris and Tanya brought us drinks. Okay. Brought you uh looks like white hot chocolate. Ooh, candy cane. And got my coffee with the two espresso by the looks of it. That's awesome. Thanks. You know the way to our hearts. <laughs> Friends forever. Well, actually they're our cousins. So they're family forever. We're stuck with them either way. But we really like them too, so they can be our friends forever too. <laughs> so just to show you the kind of people that they are, not only did they just bring us Tim's, unannounced, exactly when we needed it, it's also Chris's birthday today, and he brought us a gift of Tim's. That is the kind of people that they are. Yeah, that is really nice. So it's like birthday Tim's, except it's... It's reverse it's birthday reverse Tim's. birthday Tim's. I should let you guys know also that they do make YouTube videos also. Not as many uh, as we do here on this channel, but maybe one day they will. And if we keep uh, pushing them along a little bit, maybe they will. Uh, it's called Rock, Rocking Kettle Acres. I'll leave the link down below in the description. I just wanted to make sure I got the name right because sometimes I get it mixed up. But I'll we'll put the link down below in the description. They make videos. They're the people who have the goats. Cousin Chris and Tanya. And he said super duper. He sent us a video in the drive-thru. He said super duper when he picked Nailed it up it. for us. Nailed it. Okay, uh, anything else? Nope, that'd be all. Okay, the large apple cinnamon and the large berry. Both of honey is going to be 4.30, please. Super duper. So this is what I was kind of talking about yesterday. Uh, I just printed this off uh, the internet. What is the Macaroni Kid? Uh, Winnipeg.macaronikid.com. They have this challenge here. 101 family fun roadside attractions in Manitoba. A daily tripper's guide. You know how I like stopping at all these funny monuments and everything, right? They have 101 of them 
just in Manitoba. You got like the Dominion City, world's largest sturgeon, Elm Creek, world's largest fire hydrant. You know, there's uh, St. Francis Xavier, there's the White Horse, St. Malo, White Tailed Deer. All over, there's Emerson, Holland, La Riviere, Lundar, all the way up to Churchill, Manitoba. 101 landmarks and roadside attractions. Now the point of this challenge is to get to know your own province better, or if you're from out of province, after this whole virus thing is over, to get to know Manitoba better. Now obviously we can't go and see all of these all at once right now because of restrictions and stuff, but we can start and go and see the ones closer by. The point of it is to get a picture of yourself standing beside the landmark or the roadside attraction. And at the end, you compile them all together, all 101. Now, like I said, because of current restrictions, I don't think we can go all the way up to Churchill right now. The only way up there is either by plane or by train. So this is gonna take a while. It's gonna be a long-term thing. Maybe we'll do one excursion a week, just on the weekend. We'll start off close to home. And hopefully by the time we get to the attractions that are further away from home, restrictions have eased up and uh, we can go and see those. But for today, we're gonna cross two off our list because they're pretty much right here. There's the cow, the Holstein, they call it. The cow in La Brokery and the 1931 Rolls Royce in Steinbeck. So while we're up there, we'll, we'll obviously make like a weekend out of it or something and we'll go on uh, one of those polar bear tours and show you guys the polar bears in the northern part of our province. That'll be for like next year after all of these lockdowns and everything are over obviously, but you know, there's 101 of these things. So it'll take us a while to get there. comes just on the left. The infamous the brokery cow. Diesel. Good thing I took you along for this one. Look at that sunset though. Man, that'd look a lot better if my truck was clean. Tell you what. So this is our number one landmark that we are crossing off our list of 101 Manitoba attractions. Oh, roadside attractions. La Brokery, 1883 to 1983. There it is. Gotta make sure I get my selfie with it. I'm sure Diesel's gonna want a picture with it too, since it's a cow. This one was an easy one because La Brokery is maybe like 10, 10 or so kilometers from Steinbeck. It was easy to come and see this. Be interesting to see all the other ones around the province. I think we'll save the one at Steinbeck for tomorrow. As you can tell, my natural lighting is disappearing on me. All right, buddy, I know you want to come see the cow. Come on. Come on, bud. Careful when you jump out of there, man. You're supposed to gracefully jump out, not just fall out. Okay, one sec, one sec. I'm gonna put you guys up here. And we're gonna go get our selfie, okay? Come on, Eva. It gets cold real fast when the sun disappears now. I think we're gonna head home from here and do the car tomorrow. <laughs> Gotta save something for tomorrow, right? We don't want to uh, 
cross off all the ones really close. Go on, Diesel. We don't want to cross off all the really close ones too quickly because then we can't go any further. I think we're restricted from going up to northern Manitoba right now. But most of the attractions are all in southern Manitoba, so it should be all right. So we'll try to put that link down below in the description. Uh, it's, or you can just Google 101 Family Fun Roadside Attractions in Manitoba. It's uh, a challenge to explore our province. So this was actually sent to us uh, or suggested to us by Tanya after we visited this Center of Canada sign. That is one of the attractions. We can actually cross that off our list already too. So that's been crossed off. The LaBrokery Holstein has been crossed off tomorrow. The Steinbeck, what is it, 1933, uh, what is it? Steinbeck, Steinbeck, 1931 Rolls Royce. Another attraction, we can just go and grab a picture there. And, and it'll already be three, so we're now at 98, I had to count on my hands, right? 98 left. <laughs> Later, Carol. Nice meeting you. I've always seen it here. I've never actually stopped to go look at it. They took it down for a while. Was it last year or the year before? I think they had to redo it, like repaint it or something. I, I thought of that as we were driving up. I was like, oh shoot, I hope they put it back up. <laughs> so La Brokery is a small French community in the uh, southeast of Manitoba, just down the road from Steinbeck. Like I said, like a five minute drive from Steinbeck. Not too far away at all. I'm not sure how often we're gonna be able to get out and do these. I can't go every day. I would love to do a new one every day, like for 101 days or something, but that's a lot of gas driving around and a lot of time. I can't be uh, running around like that. And plus, you know, like I said before, We'll have to wait a little while to do the ones further north. And then after that, I don't know. Once we explore all of Manitoba, hopefully by that time, they'll let us into the next province for a visit. Or maybe even down to North Dakota. Maybe we'll do North Dakota next. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We got a lot to get done here first, so I think it'll work out perfectly. Okay, I've got to show you this before we go home, though. I got to show you this Christmas tree. These guys light up this tree all the way to the top every year. I don't know how they get all the way up there. I've never actually seen them do it, but they figure it out. Check this out here. We're gonna pull in here. They leave them up there all summer. I think that's the trick. I saw them there in the summertime, but still, I don't care. Look at that. That is awesome. Now that is Christmas done right. Look at that, all the way to the top. <laughs> well done. Well done. Looks like those trees are leaning a little bit this way as well. I've got that problem with my trees in our backyard as well. It makes me a little nervous. It makes me sort of feel like they're going to fall over. Oh, well, they got a little public bench and garbage can right there. You can go and sit there and just hang out under the Christmas tree. You see that? That's cool. Definitely need to take this thing to the wash. I'm waiting for uh, Monday tomorrow because then they have the the employees in there that shammy it down for me they don't work on the weekends and it's sunday today so definitely won't have any employees in there today
Did you just fart? You I heard that. Nervous. You asked him to sit. <laughs> what I was gonna say is, General Frank is cooking up something for dinner. Oh, he's cooking, is he? <laughs> he's taking the credit for it, anyways. He's just been eating the broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> he likes broccoli. So does Diesel. But it gives him gas, apparently. He gives everybody gas. <laughs> it's going to be a stinky household tonight. So it's uh, chicken, broccoli. What is for supper? Chicken and broccoli casserole. Chicken and broccoli casserole. <laughs> Delicious. One of these uh, one of these nights I'm going to have to make a supper. But my I've options... I've been saying that for years. Well, because I only have like one or two things I can make. You could make anything. You just need a recipe. But then I have to look at the instructions. And that's forbidden. My brother-in-law is a fantastic chef. He makes delicious meals and I can't cook anything to save my life. It's not that you can't, it's just that you haven't tried. Well, I'm good at breakfasts. I like breakfasts. You made me scalloped potatoes once and mm -hmm. you changed my mind on scalloped potatoes. I hated them before you made them. Scalloped potatoes it is. Tomorrow night? Apparently she likes my scalloped potatoes. I'll make a whole video about it. Chef Josh, tune in for a whole bunch of chefery and cookery. A whole bunch of cookery. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I do need to make some, but I am more of a breakfast person. I really like making uh, eggs, bacon, sausage. Oh, bacon. You seem to follow me everywhere I go. Ha ha ha! Okay, no, 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 no barking. That's not how the game works. The game works is you run and I chase you. Diesel, what do you think? She looks awfully busy. It smells awfully good. So this is the before. Here we go. You open the magic door, you put it inside for 35 minutes, and voila, supper. 35 minutes. I'm gonna wait right here. It's the magic box. All right, we should go through here and check off the ones we've been to now. I think on the first page here, see Grunthal's right nearby. Grunthal's just like a, the next town over sort of too. The brokery right there, number 10. Let's cross that off. There. Okay, let's... Which other one had we been to already? Oh yeah, the center of Canada. Where would that be in? Would that be in... Uh... Where, oh, center of Canada sign, Tache. She just said it's dinner time. She better not be messing with me. Here's the finished product. Dun, 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 dun. That looks delicious. This is one of my all-time favorites. Chicken broccoli casserole. And I totally forgot what this actually was. Every single time I make it and I tell him what I'm making, he doesn't understand until he sees the finished product. Until I smell it. Or that. All of a sudden the smell hit it when she was about halfway done. And I started sniffing around like a dog. I know what that is. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta put you away. I gotta enjoy this. This is, this is private time. This is just for me. And me. And you. Just for us. I'll talk to you after. I'll tell you how good it was. I'll tell you every little detail. You know, you could just give me a bite. I'll tell them every detail. I think that's a good deal. Fair deal. I'm pretty descriptive. Well, it looks like everybody's coming in from their final, their final outside. <laughs> and I've got to tell you, there are no words that can express how good the meal was. There are no words. And with that, I will leave you till tomorrow. I hope you do subscribe. Tomorrow will be a fun day. I'll see you then. Hit that like button. Don't forget, before you leave, hit the like button on your way out. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night.